guys, it's Elle here from Beyond Expectations. Now today to help you to get started on your transformation and reshaping your body, I'm going to teach you how to take girth measurements. Now it's really important that you take girth measurements because sometimes you'll find even though you're weighing your body fat, it may not move that particular week, but you have lost centimeters, which is a good indication that your body is still moving in the right direction of reshaping and transforming your body. So grab yourself a tape measure. They're pretty inexpensive. You can get them from most sewing supply stores. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. Just make sure you use the same one because again, sometimes tape measures can be slightly off. You can measure in centimeters or inches, whatever you prefer. Now my tape measure is actually a little bit broken, so I've sticky taped it together my apologies but it will work for today so first of all I like to measure my hips so what you do is you put your feet together your knees together you don't want to squeeze it too tight just want to be as relaxed as you can be and you want to go for the largest uh, part of your hips okay not too low not too high so just across here just across your lady garden area okay so grab your tape measure and put it across there and Take your measurement. Now it's important that you record your measurement in a journal or in a book or some sort so that you can keep track of how your body's progressing and if you are losing centimeters off your body. Now the next part I usually do is my leg. You don't want to go too low down and you also don't want to go too high up. So you want to go just here right under your sort of crutch area. So grab your tape measure. There you go. Measure your your leg great and then make sure again that you record that somewhere now the next part of my body I usually measure would be my stomach and when you're measuring your stomach you want to go across your belly button okay so right across your belly button grab your tape measure and you want to go right across your belly button and just measure that there and be sure again to record your measurements when uh, you've taken them. So across your belly button. And the next thing that I usually measure would be my chest. Now when you're measuring your chest, you want to measure across your nipple line. So just grab this and go right across your nipple line. Yep, and then take your measurement. And again, make sure that you're recording that. All right. Now, measuring is going to be different for everyone, how you do it. The important thing is that you do it the same time each week at the same location in terms of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day you choose that you're doing it the same day. Okay, so the arm's a bit tricky. You've got to hold it with your thumb and then somehow jimmy it around and then take your measurement. So that's done there and then record it again so if you want some more information on how to get started on reshaping and transforming your body please head on over to my website and download my free ebook which is seven rules from beyond expectations and i'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started which is you know sometimes the hardest thing we don't know where to get started hi guys it's kiana here hi guys it's kamika here thank you so much for watching i really do hope this helps Please leave your comments and questions down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> and thank you so much. Look how tall she's getting. They're both getting so tall. I know. <laughs> Everything in life is going to take a little piece of you. I just have to roll with the punches and sort of go with it and go, okay, tomorrow's a new day. Next year in May 2011, I will be competing in the International Sports Modelling uh, Physique Competition and it will be roughly 9 to 10 months after my second baby. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually have a nanny to take care of my children, a chef to prepare my meals, someone to do my washing, any of those things. I don't have a personal trainer, I don't have a nutritionist, I don't even have gym membership. anymore. I just want to rest and have a sleep. I just feel like it's all a bit much. I want to inspire other women who are just like me and see these Hollywood A-listers have babies and transform back into these beautiful women and you think, how am I supposed to do that? And the reality is I'm no one special. I don't have magic powers. I don't have this huge determination and will. It's all getting a bit too much.
lunch now. Just me. And I'll just have to go out there and be the best me I can be. And I hope that it'll be good enough. Our next competitor, all the way from Sydney, Australia, please welcome mother of two, Ill Ill.